right, this one's for all you lib sinners out there. This is the Boss Shock Report, Wednesday, October 17th. And today we're going to be doing podcasting to Libsyn from your iPhone with Boss Jock Studio. Hopefully making it real easy for you Libsyn users. So in order to get stuff to Libsyn, we're going to be using FTP. FTP to Libsyn. Look at that. Look at that. Now, uh, when you're FTPing to Libsyn, you got an option to drop your media in one of three places on the Libsyn system. If you're going to FTP in the three folders, one is called the QuickCast, one is called the Dropbox, one is called the Public Folder. Now, I'll give you a little get a little idea what each one does. The public folder, anything you drop in that folder is going to be available for download only. It doesn't publish it to the RSS feed or the uh, the web page or the players, for example. So if you're doing something like using another service like uh, PowerPress or something, you may want to use that option. Dropbox is if you throw a file that uh, you're later going to log into the system and uh, make a post and you pull up files that you've FTP'd into your Dropbox, but for demonstration today, for streamlining, we're going to use the QuickCast feature of Libsyn QuickCast. And what that does is any f- any file, any recording dropped into the QuickCast folder gets automatically podcasted out to the RSS feed, the blog page, basically all of the destinations in the Libsyn system. So that's what we're going to do. Now you gotta know, you gotta know what the FTP uh, URL is, ftp-server.libsyn.com, but uh, it gets a little bit more complex than that. Here you go. We're gonna put it in the links of the show notes, but ftp colon slash slash ftp-server.libsyn.com slash show slug slash quickcast. Now what's a slug, what's a show slug? Now the show slug is your special name that you give your show, specifically a show, and it shows up on your URL. For example, if you you go to your blog page and it's, let's say if it was Dave's World, for example, it'd be davesworld.libson.com. And Dave's World is your show slug. And in my case, my show is eMayhem, so I would put eMayhem where show slug goes, slash quickcast. All right. All right, so here we go. I got a show that I previously recorded uh, in version 1.3 of Boss Jock. You'll see we have support for metadata. In this case, the show has a title and a body and also an image. And this is important because you fill out this info and it's not only is it gonna be, uh, it's gonna be put in your MP3's ID3 tags. So the artwork becomes the album artwork and uh, uh, the, the body goes into the comments and the title is the title. But this is important for Libsyn users when you're using QuickCast system because what Libsyn does is it pulls the, uh, the title of the, the file from the ID3 tag and that makes that the title of the post. And it pulls the comments from the ID3 tag of the MP3 and it makes that the, the body of the post. So here we go, we're gonna set up. We're gonna set up an MP3. So I'm gonna hit the export button. And I'm gonna pick, all right, I'm set up as an MP3 stereo. I'd like to do 112 kilobits per second stereo, MP3. And I'm gonna hit the FTP button. Now let me let me give you a little background here. We see the file is being compressed. Now this is a very short little recording that I made. Uh, your mileage will vary because encoding to an MP3 is, is, is highly intensive, so it's faster than real time. But you're gonna want to set aside a little bit of time to let this sucker compress. So I'm cheating because I got a tiny little file. And you'll see it's almost finished compressing here, 100%. All right, boom. Now FTP server. You can see. Uh, ftp-server.libsyn.com. I'm gonna put in my show slug next, in which case it's emayhem, and then slash the folder that I want, which is quick cast. All right, then my username, which is my email address for the Libsyn system. 
You can send me emails, but what I'm not going to tell you is my password. Alright, I'm back. And here we go, I'm going to hit the button. It's going to connect. And there it is, uploading, and FTP succeeded. So now I've successfully sent my latest recording over into the Lipson system for the E-Mayhem show. Now you gotta give them a little bit of time because they run, I think, a job every hour or something like that to publish it, but just to see, let's check. We'll switch over here. And here comes my blog page on Libsyn, the E-Mayhem Radio Podcast. And there it is. Look at that, happening in real time. It says Libsyn Quick Cast with Boss Jock. And there it is, the title has become the title. And I'll zoom in here. And the body is the body. So the comments that I put in my, uh, the comments section of the ID3 tag has now showed up is the body of the, of the podcast. And there it is. That was quicker than I expected. System. This is a test of the emergency quick cast system. So there you go. That's Libsyn publishing via Boss Shock app. And uh, I got a little hint from Rob Walsh, the podcaster relations guru over at Libsyn Wizard. And he gave me a tip that I would like to share with you guys. Now, now the Libsyn publishing platform doesn't work so well on your iPhone, you can pretty much get the job done, but say you want to log in later and make adjustments to uh, to something, the description, maybe you want to add a few more links or something like that. Well, the interface doesn't really work too well with this stock Safari browser on iOS. So the tip is, in the store there's a an, an app called vBrowse, vBrowse, and it's a free app. And when you hook it up and you uh, you punch this little button, this monitor button on the bottom of vBrowse, and what it does is, it uh, I think it tricks the Libsyn system into thinking it's a standard desktop browser. I'm not sure, but what it does is then you can get in and get to all the widgets to make the the uh, you know drop in italics and bolds and links and all sorts of fancy stuff. So vBrowse, v b r o w s e vBrowse in the App Store. It's free and it works well if you want to do editing. And so that's about it, folks. That is publishing to Libsyn via Boss Jock app on an iPhone. Direct. No stop to a PC. All in one pass. And this is possible with uh, Boss Jock Studio version 1.3 that's live in the App Store right now. And we'd love to hear it from you, folks. Catch us on Twitter at Boss Jock app. Catch up. Catch- Catch us on Facebook, facebook.com slash bossjockapp. Our URL, www.bossjockstudio.com. we got a lot more exciting things coming in version 1.4. We're working very hard to bring that to you. But no spoilers. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon.